Welcome back. It's time for my next guest this evening. He is the nation's favourite former boy band member turned scientist. It is Professor Brian Cox. Band, were they? That was, uh, that's not really accurate. Dream, they weren't really a boy band, were they? No. Not really. We were getting on a bit even then. Hey, um, would I be right in thinking, I think certainly this country, but maybe in the world, you're one of the best known scientists on the planet now, but, but certainly here in the UK, you must be our best known scientist. I, I suppose, well, the Stephen Hawking, of course. All right, OK, um, yes, all right. Okay. <laughs> He's been on The Simpsons. Yeah. We, uh, yet, have they asked that. you yet? No. No, it won't be long, I'm sure. Um, but you are now, uh, whether you like it or not, you have become a celebrity in your own right now. Uh, you are famous for your shows, famous for your books. Is that something, do you enjoy that or would you rather that hadn't happened? Does it get in the way of, of the science that you used to do and, and still like to do? It does a bit. I mean, I've gone back to, to the university, so I go back to Manchester in the autumn term. I teach first years. And that, that was a decision. I'd kind of avoided students for my whole career. That's a very so good... You know, I've tried to do that my whole yeah. life. <laughs> but but then, then after, after the TV shows, I wanted to start thinking again. So, so I teach the first year, quantum mechanics and relativity. And it's funny because, you know, you think, like you said, you know, I'm on television, I get recognised a lot. And so there's a moment for about a minute when you walk into the lecture theatre and they're there and, and it's that bloke on telly. But then, then the moment you start writing, someone says, Bigger writing, speak up a bit. I don't understand. And, and they forget within a minute because they've got to do an exam. So it's back it. into, so, you're just another professor. Yeah. You're just another teacher. So let's talk about your new show. And the show is called Wonders of Life. Just started on BBC Two. Explain uh, what the premise is. It's a science show. Yeah. So it's, the question is, what do we know about the origin of life on Earth? Uh, what do we know about how it went from the simple to the complex over 3.8 billion years? You're really entering into biology here as well, aren't you? Uh, not, it's not just kind of the physics with which yeah. you know your name. I guess I they're, have to touch they're animals as a... To, actually, I, I saw... Um, <laughs> He leaves on the show. He doesn't mean oh. right now. That sounds like you were saying, right now, I, I have and to touch something. That's kind of got... <laughs> I've always had felt the need to touch animals. <laughs> <Not like that. laughs> no, but actually... It's, it's just... What a strange place to make this confession. No. <laughs> and I'm quite... Um, see, I, I never went fishing as, as, a, as a child, for example. And I think in, in uh, the one that was on last week, um, I had to hold this catfish, this giant yeah. thing. That was a big this fish. This big, it's enormous. And, and they're, uh, it's, they, they said to me, it's all right, um, it, it won't move uh, where, when it's out of the water if you keep hold of it. But in the water, they can pull you under. They can drown you, those things. So they were saying, so I just trusted them and held it, and indeed it just sat there. But then I had to put it back over the boats, and the moment you put it in the water, the thing goes like that. And they, they have weird, a different kind of nervous system, don't they? They have a different receptors on the outside of their they, body. They, they live in uh, rivers like the Mississippi, it's full of silt. So they don't need eyes, really. So their eyes are next to useless. But they're like, a, they're, they're one giant tongue if you can imagine that. The whole thing is like a taste sensor, and it tastes the water, and it can build up a 3D picture of the, of the river, and it can hunt, but by uh, detecting chemicals in the water rather than seeing. I don't believe any of that. <laughs> Why? A giant tongue living in a river? <laughs> What's wrong what? with you, Cox? So you're teaching young people this nonsense. There's stranger <laughs> things than that. I the, know, that's what I love about the show. There are, I'm obviously joking. There are so yeah. many strange things, so many weird creatures. Let's have a look at you with something, because this is kind of, this is sort of for you, I, I suppose, moving into slightly new territory, mm. certainly in your TV career. Let's have, this is the wonders of life. I can't recommend it highly enough. I love it. Look what we've just found. We were out looking for giraffe this morning. We've found about 10 of them just over there. But in looking for the giraffe we've just found a leopard this is one of the top predators out here he's got very little to fear apart from other leopards and maybe lions now he's looking for protein and i'm a little bit worried because i'm protein That's a clip from tomorrow night's episode tomorrow of Wonders night. of Life. That, that was, uh, it was genuinely frightening, that. The, the, the ranger tells us it won't come in, the Land Rover. But it was, it was like a little, you know, you've got a little kitten, and, yeah. and you put... Because the, the big the sound pole is like that, with a big fluffy bit on the end, and the sound man's... And he started playing with it. He said, don't do that. It's a leopard. It comes in here, it'll be like a blender. You know, it's, it's, I mean, they really are beautiful, but frightening animals. OK, so the book is a, is a fabulous, lavish book out to accompany the series uh, Wonders of Life. It really is, and it's incredible. 
uh, photographs and also incredible science in here, which I guess is, uh, and that's one of the things you do best, I think, which is communicating these very complex ideas to people like me who don't necessarily have the, the knowledge that's necessary to grasp it any other way. So it comes, and I normally forget it after I've put the book down, but I love it while I'm reading it. Uh, it doesn't stay in my head that long. Uh, now, water is crucial to life on yeah. this planet, and that I got from uh, your program, but I knew that one already. Um, <laughs> But the electrolysis of water is something you'd like to demonstrate this evening. Now, yes. why, why is this important? The, the reason what does this is mean? Because we, we want to see an experiment, and, and pla even a plant can do this. Okay. So I thought it was the ideal experiment to try. <laughs> <laughs> even I can do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the point is that, so you're going to see, it's, it's difficult to okay. split water. So we're going to split water into, into what? Into hydrogen and oxygen, which so that's are component what... parts. But all that we're going to do it with a car battery, big car battery. Okay, well, so I have a car, they put this behind me, I'm a bit. Oh, blimey, it's a heavy one. So I'll put that there. Yeah. There's a car battery they bought in. If I could ask your assistant. Bryson. Come on. Bryson, how are you? Very well, thank okay, you. OK, thank you. Right. Thank you. The slight problem with this <laughs> is it's a bit dangerous. You see in the Muppets? <laughs> <laughs> don't, say, don't say that to him. You know what he could do with those. But, but, I was only asking. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the battery up. OK, he's we're connecting the battery up. Right. Okay, as where... soon as we connect the battery up, that's water in there. It's breaking it down into hydrogen and oxygen. So there's metal things going down into the water. Yeah. And the, the electricity is going to the water and it's... Yeah, we're ripping the oxygen molecules apart. Wow. And bubbling a gas into there. Now, if you... I want to demonstrate what this gas is. Put some of that on your hand. I'm going to bubble it into there. This is just washing up liquid? No. Have you heard of the Hindenburg? Yes, I have. Oh, what what happened to, to it? It exploded. Yeah. So the interesting thing... <laughs> the thing is, hydrogen and oxygen want to be together. Water's a very stable molecule. Do so it's a remarkable thing that every blade of grass in your garden can do this. Yeah, well, let's talk here, more experimenting. Come I'm on, let's do it. I'm doing some science. I'm not... I'm educational value. I just no don't one want cares. To, they want to hear a you bang. Off. Well, you're... You're, you're going to go up like a... Oh, no! Oh. Whoa! Holy... <laughs> Christmas! Oh, I've got a big ringing going on right now. <laughs> wow. I cannot hear it. It's just a bad wow. Yeah. <laughs> OK, let's do that one. Go on. Should we do the big one? Yeah. <laughs> OK, I'm going in. Oh, mother. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. So, so that is just water. That is just water and washing up liquid. That, that's what water is made of, hydrogen, which is extremely flammable and reacts back with the oxygen in the atmosphere into water it's again incredible. if you give it a little kick. And so that is the Big Bang. It's, it, it was a Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to recover from um, that. Actually, that was <laughs> really quite horrible. But uh, so why did we have the we had the the <laughs> soap liquid to make the bubbles? Yeah. To maintain so we, we, the... we're filling it with hydrogen. So so that's hydrogen gas, which is wow. the most common element in the universe. Seventy five percent of the universe is made of hydrogen. Ah, oh, okay, that was great. Wasn't that great? <laughs> yeah. It was a great experiment. <laughs> And we are now all <laughs> professors of physics. Uh, how great to have you here again. I love your shows and I, I always enjoy spending thank time with you. you. Professor Brian Cox, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. That was great. Thank you. All right, thanks to all my guests tonight. Next week, I will be joined here by Anton Deck, Hollywood star Tim Rothelby and the fantastic Kessler. But now to finish the show, performing Miracle, it is Hertz. Look at all of the damage you have 
are certainly hotting up tomorrow night with Valentine's Day fast approaching there's a romantic theme dancing on ice at 6.15 and the suffragettes cause mayhem on Oxford Street in Mr Selfridge at 9.00